Y'all, we are back. Yes. Me and Vina over here gossiping. Gossiping. What's mm. up, you guys? We are back with the Women of Wildin' Out podcast. This is your girl, Pretty TV, B. Simone, and Brie. We're about Wildin to bring up. Goddess. Yeah, Brie, well, she's <laughs> right, right on this podcast. She's Brie, the dopest, the lopest, the topest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> why I did it, that was just a warm up for our guest. <laughs> Justina <laughs> Valentine, you guys. Yes. What's up, sis? Hello. Oh, hi, baby. How you doing? Oh, What's up? Oh, hi. Hi. You look so beautiful. Pretty. I just told you we were. I just told you. We're trying to get in now. Can I pour you up, babe? Sure. All right. Just cheers. And Vina had a question for us. Actually, while she's getting your drink, I'm gonna get comfortable. But um, have you ever dated someone who makes less than you? Um, I would say basically everyone I've dated we were always broke busted and disgusted together together yeah i wow. actually i dated one guy that you know me and he had that little like drug money and this and that like he yeah. had some he did definitely had some paper he was a guy i dated that had the most but honestly every guy i dated we were just like grinding yeah you yeah. know what i mean i'm working in the strip clubs i'm you know rapping i'm working at the restaurants you know and he's doing his thing so mm-hmm. You know, hustling together. Hustling yeah. together. Now, so, how, how is it with your boyfriend now? Because every time I see Justine, I'm like, you still with your man? She's like, hey, always. Are you expecting us to break up? Or yeah. <laughs> but I just um, always ask. I love love. Yeah. So yeah. I just be asking. You know what? He's hustling with me too because um, he makes beats, he produces. So he produced on my last album that dropped Infrared. I think he did like 10 out of the 14 Damn. records. Wow. And mm. I stream pretty good on Spotify. So we get nice yeah. little checks from Spotify. Yeah. So I know you're right. We definitely yeah. hustle together. And yeah. um, that's always been the relationship I've had. Like even I, I heard you guys talking and I never was with a guy that just had like so much money. So I don't mm. even know what that's like, but the type of chick I am, I'm such a tomboy and my energy is so mm. Masculine. I love it. If my yeah. man sent me flowers, I'd be like, "Are you dumb? What's up with my dog? Like, did you walk in? Yeah. Like, that's how I, I don't even all day. She's like, "Where's my son? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't Talking even about her puppy. Yeah, yeah, like, so I wouldn't even. I mean, it's so cute, and for girls yeah. that love it and appreciate it, I love it for you. But I would never want it. But that's how you know. Yeah, you. Yeah. Like, your man like, gotta know you. Stuff. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. I got those flowers today, and I cried. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did. did, and that's so cute because yeah. it's like that's thoughtful. It's yeah. the little mm-hmm. stuff. Like, don't buy in my boyfriend um, Christmas and my birthday. I said, do not buy me a Chanel bag. Don't go to the fucking mall and right. spend ten thousand dollars on something I can go buy. I want yeah. sentimental stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. so right. Like, you know, like yeah, sentimental shit. And even what you're saying, like with his business, you know, he's investing the money. I love it. I'm doing. You know, we're doing the same thing with the money. It's like getting property, this and that. Good for you. You see, yeah. I mean, even you see my my drip on Instagram. I don't be wearing a whole bunch yep. of designer yep. and shit. Yep. I don't get a whole bunch of jewelry. Yep. Yeah. Even my man was like, "All right, bitch, you gotta get like a purse, <laughs> a bag, something." He's yeah. like, "You the only bitch on your level who <laughs> no, don't you're not. have a bag." No, you're or not. something. I Girl, had your makeup's in a Louis Vuitton bag. Girl, and guess what? I keep when I buy stuff that's expensive, I don't take care of it. I treat that okay. Louis bag like an Aldo bag. Right. So I'm like, why but do you I still need have it? I have it, Girl. but I don't take care of it because I don't, you know what yeah. I mean? Like my yeah. chain, I threw it in my fucking per- Oh, you're bugging. You should bugging. <laughs> yeah. Not the beast mode beauty chain. Oh, yeah. It's in a fanny pack right now. It's not even in the. Oh, Jess, yeah, Jess Larius was like, yeah. you're fucking tripping. I'm like, yeah. I gotta stop buying expensive shit because I don't put value on it. Yeah, that's why I'm glad I don't. I my, you know, my chains, my incredible chain, Valentine chain, and you know, I just want to put the money in stuff that will make money. You know, Mm -hmm. assets, not liabilities. Yes, Mm -hmm. Yes. some chains ain't even worth what I bought them for. Right, and I forgot to even mention too because I've I've dated someone or talked to well, I've say dated someone as well that we were grinding together too, like really hustling at the same time. Yeah, but then I think for both of us, me and the guy. It was long distance. I was another mm. state. He was another state. And it's yeah. like, it was hard to do. I'm going to just grind yeah. where I'm at. And you grind where you at. And then when time permits and God work it out, we'll, we'll come back together. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, how it goes. that's the separate relationships I'm used to. Like, I was with a guy who had a bar. I was bartending all day, all hours of the night, writing my raps there. So it's like, <clears throat> you know, I think so I, I like that mm-hmm. dynamic of us both being hungry. Mm-hmm. That's just, I think, what, like. You know, feeds me, and I don't want no famous guy for real because I have a lot of athletes in the DMs. Yeah, I right. know. Because athletes, you know, they have like certain confidence. Like, you know, we're mm-hmm. intimidating females, yeah. so it's like yeah. we're yeah. not for everybody. And I feel bad because I have my back to you, so I'm gonna just oh, no, have my head. I'm gonna be good. like the ex- <laughs> have this bitch on a bottle. <laughs> but we're intimidating, so it's like 
I feel like it's only certain types of guys that have the right swag for us. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. athletes, that's just one of the types, like, they got the confidence. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But for me, that's just not, you know, it, it's just not what I would want. Like, I don't want a guy that's in the limelight. Yeah. Mm. yeah Unless if hard. Drake is listening. We, <laughs> you I mean, Drake? Yeah. You I still mean, love no, Drake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. You know uh, I always love Drake. I don't know Eminem. That's why I was gratitude. happy for you when I, I was like, all right, B, whoa, do your thing. <laughs> Sis. <laughs> I live Girl, but Drake was not worried about me. No, I, I love Eminem <laughs> as a rapper, but not yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. dating wise. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Drake. Yeah. If Drake was like just, well, you know what? You I've know. been looking at. I've been following you for a long time. Like, I mean, he does follow me. I know he does. He does. I just Ooh. cheers to that. He, wow. does. he <laughs> definitely <laughs> cheers into that. Yes, yes, cheers yes. to Drizzy Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Salute and done. Us. Us. Oh, we yeah. can comment on his post because you know only people that mm. he follows can comment. Like, I need to well, for that because it's like mm-hmm. your page. No negative stuff. Your page yeah. is your yeah. house. Mm-hmm. Why should you let someone Anybody in your house in. if they're going to disrespect gonna hate you? on you. For sure. yeah. yeah. And you know what I love? I was going to tell you before, but I wanted to say it on camera. What I love about you today, when I did watch a little bit, I was asleep today. I had a day off. Every time I looked I was sleeping at you, truck. relaxing. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, J. Cole, get away from me. You're just rubbing off. You know, she'd be asleep. But um, <laughs> you were so passionate. I said, look at Justina. She'd be... I'm like, she don't even need to practice. She up there going over her, she just, anything you do. Like yesterday, when you walked up, you touched the, um, we played, uh, uh, uh are you smarter than a rapper? You okay. touched the skeleton. Yeah. You mm-hmm. just give, she, Justina gives her all. And when I'm tired, I'll be like, nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go up there and just wing it. Justina yeah. will. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. You're yeah. so passionate about what you do. And I'm like, you got it. Like, why is she going over these lines? It don't matter. Well, I, yeah. I wanted my impression to be good. <laughs> maybe even great. Her Donald Trump impression. Yeah. Everyone says I'm the best Donald Trump there ever was. I love Just it. Just something ugly. ugly. Don't do so, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, you know, yes. I, I had the little... You know, Gotti God was coming in, so I want to make sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And literally, sure um, literally, 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 girl, every day. Literally. But no, Justina, you know, I told you in the truck that I just admire your work. Just Thank admire you. you. Just, so talented. Just every time we talk, just it's always like, just keep going, keep doing your thing. I just think you're a big sister to me on this show, just looking at you, looking at your artistry, just watching, like, everything that you do. When I say the TikTok queen, the TikTok like crazy. Oh, on a COVID, I'm like, like she do her makeup. I'm like she figured it out. You figured out what you should do to keep yourself out keep there and keep it going, yeah. and you did that. But like, how are you feeling? Like, I mean, Kobe had COVID, yeah, last mm-hmm. year. I mean, yeah, everybody was not at work. You know, like, how are you feeling mentally? Like now we're back on the show, yeah. sitting down for a yeah, year, yeah, for sure. Um, COVID definitely. Um, <clears throat> you know, hit me hard. I live in Jersey, right outside New York. So like, it was real every, strict up there. Yes. Well, it was crazy out there. We had the first, like, the biggest outbreak. So, um, so many people got it. Um, I lost um, a dear friend of mine, my brother Fred, the godson. Jesus, yeah, was, Fred, yeah, yeah, that was like a that. terrible time. Um, you know, for the family because that's Fred is family to me. Mm. So. That was really hard, and then so mm-hmm. you know, so many of my people had it. So that was definitely a stressful time. And then, like you said, we all had to sit down. We couldn't work. We can't do what we love. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. what I did, I was like, you know, with my music being that, like, you know, I came in the game rapping, or that's what I did, you know, yeah, as an yeah. artist, rapping, singing. And then, um, you know, I got the blessing to have a platform and be on Wild and Out. Mm-hmm. So once that happened, my focus transitioned a little, like where music was my number one passion goal, and it still is my passion and all that. But TV at some point superseded that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what I did when COVID hit, I was like, all right, normally we'll be doing like three episodes, while and out. I'm um, sorry, three seasons of while and out yeah. here, and whatever yeah. else we're doing. I said I'm gonna make sure that I drop like one or two tracks a month Fire. which is mm. you know that's you know that's, that's a lot, lot of output yeah. <laughs> so i was like that's i'm gonna do that i'm gonna shoot videos for it. i'm gonna shoot videos in the crib i got a green screen my one room the whole wall is a green screen mm. and i was like i'm just gonna make sure i keep putting out content because the good thing about me like you guys know with music i don't have to wait on nobody i don't need no writers yep i have yep. all talented producers around me yep. that i can get beats from so 
I told myself, I set that goal, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do while I'm home. Got a studio in the crib, plus a studio so right around my way. Yeah. So that's what I did. I kept feeding the YouTube, the TikTok, like you guys said, mm -hmm. and feeding my Spotify. I got my Spotify at one point. It was up to 700K a month. That's crazy. Is a lot. That's a lot. I mean, people on labels don't do 700K. That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. And, you know. And are you independent? Yeah, well, well, I mean, you know, obviously, well, we're yeah, incredible. Yeah, incredible, yeah. incredible, incredible. But yeah, it's yeah, still, yeah. you know, we, like, still you have freedom. do our thing yeah. independently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, you know, doing that definitely kept me busy because it was like every day I'm working on something, whether it's a track, whether it's recording the track, whether it's doing the music video, whether it's doing TikTok, TikTok to it. You know, one of the songs that got lit on TikTok, I think it had, like, you know, 15,000 people did a video to that's it. And that's lot. just me posting it. Yeah, so I... I was just working, and then I got into, and you know, because Nile always says, you know, now That's our producer, y'all. Yeah, yeah. shout mm -hmm. to now. He called a shot. <laughs> in the building. <laughs> um, you know, now always tells us to push ourselves and do things that are maybe outside of ourselves and people don't necessarily know us for. So, with the Trump thing, um, I was shooting <laughs> Ugh, my It's crazy. Vlog. Yeah, it was crazy how it happened. I asked you that in the trailer. I'm like, how did you even get to the point where you did this did face Trump. and knew it was a good impression? So I was shooting my vlog for YouTube. It's called Valentine Vision. And Trump came on, and we're in the crib, and I just run in front of the TV, and I looked, like, so ugly. I didn't have no makeup <laughs> on yet, hair, nothing. But I just washed my face. My face was extra red, so I really, <laughs> the red face and the red hair, and I went in front of the TV and I was like, listen. Uh, and I started doing it. And there was like, you know, three people at my house, the two people that were filming. And they were like, yo, you are uncannily good. Literally. At doing Trump. Yes. So I started doing it, messing around. And then I started doing skits. And I was doing the skits. And thousands of people were like, yo. This is crazy. You have wow. to keep doing this. This right. is so funny. Of course, some Trump fans were getting mad Man. and stuff. But yeah. even like, they were like, yo, it's hilarious. It's so funny. I kept doing it. So then I started doing Melania, and then I did a Karen skit. So I was really like stepping Being outside, yeah, stepping yeah, out, yeah. Of doing skits and even like your news, like how you rap the news. Yes, it's just different. Yeah. So creativity. For me, yeah, it was just about like okay, we can't do what we normally do from while and out to all our other gigs. So it's like so how okay, can I still be myself in a yeah. different way? Yes. How am I gonna produce content myself in the crib and just keep it out and keep doing it um, every day, every week because. I'm the type of person, like, I like to have a schedule. I'm an athlete. I like to oh, be wow. regimented. So it's like, for me, that was good because then it, I had to push myself to do that. Like, every Thursday we're doing this. Every yeah. Friday, yeah. yeah. Right, because you know some people will wake up and they don't have shit planned for the day. Girl, yeah. that's me. That you don't, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you like, they're no, lazy. Baby, you say that, but you I'm know not you got schedule. your sale. You got the Beast mm, Mode sale. Mm -hmm. You need yeah. Vina. You beat the face. Vina, do the video. Yeah. yeah. I got to, uh, you, you know what you do. That's did. why I be looking at her like, look at that passion. Because yeah. <laughs> I be sleep. People are like, yeah. the money don't sleep. I be sleep. Yeah. Well, you're, you yeah. already have set yourself up. You're making the money while you sleep, so you got to get your rest. Look at yeah. God. Yeah. But Look at God. that's what I did just to keep my mind um, in a good place. Good. And um, just stay busy and hold myself accountable for doing things during that time. Like, I know if we're filming while and out, I can't drop two songs a month. You don't have time for nothing to do. Shoot yeah. two videos yeah. a month. Yep. Yep. We're here for a month, yep. you know? Yep. So. That's how I, um, you know, handled the COVID. Like I said, rest in peace to Fred, the godson. That was mm -hmm. definitely hard, <clears throat> a terrible time. But, yeah. um, you know, I'm thankful we're all here. Yeah. We're healthy. Yeah. We're back for another season, yeah. mm -hmm. which is such a blessing. So that's why even if I am a little tired, I'm going to push through it. I know and that's still right. going to yeah. do it because I'm like, with them. No, it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But just, you know, like, how do you maintain a relationship, like, you know? With all with, this. With, with all this mm -hmm. that you have going on. With my with, man or with your relationships man. with... In, in, People, too. It people can in be general. Free, yeah. Um, yeah. But your man, really. Yeah. Because yeah. y'all been together a while, and, yeah. you know, you're very, very busy. Um, You know what? He knows what it is. And <clears throat> when he was younger, he was in um a, a kid's group that was signed to Missy and Tim. So he'd oh, been in the it. Yeah, he'd been in, in the industry, so he knows what's up. And... You know, he's proud of me, and he he's really is, like, Supportive. my biggest supporter because yeah. he'll be the yeah. first one to be like, motherfuckers don't want to give it up to you because of blah, blah, Period. blah. You know, and he, he says things that I know, but I don't want to verbalize, and it's nice when your, like, significant other will be the one, like, so-and-so and this and that. They know they should give it up for you more, but man, they don't because of how man. you look and mm -hmm. this and that. Yeah. So 
you know, it, it's nice when you have that support system and, yes. you know, ain't shit perfect, but girl, compared to my last relationships, some of them bitches was like WrestleMania. So oh. compared yeah. to that, <laughs> girl, I have one of my ex's God. teeth in my forehead. No. I'm oh. sure I take my makeup, yeah, tooth in my, well, I had butted him, but I was head, head butted? It was, I've, trust me, I've dated some Okay, okay, bats. okay. okay. Yeah. So now you're in a Beats healthy relationship. Like, hold on, yeah. you're going to come to therapy with me next time. Oh, yeah, so you know me and the boyfriend have therapy every Wednesday. Yeah, mm. oh. so trust me, I mean, from, you know, I, I'm wild. You yeah. know what I mean? So I was always like wild and I can't even imagine that though. Yes. Yeah, so, oh my god. I really? Crazy. Yeah. I can see you that. Yeah. Crazy. I can see that. I'm mm-hmm. um, listen, what you see now is Justina focused. Wow. Thankful. I mean, I thank God that <laughs> he put me in this position Good because for you. it was so fucking hard for me to get here and I know people always say like it yeah. wasn't easy and this and that, but it was so hard for me to get here and if it wasn't for a while and out like i don't know like honestly if i ever would have made anything because people were not giving it up for me mm. as a rapper not because i wasn't fucking ill because believe i was and, and you I was, are you are thank you and yeah. i was doing battles and i was freestyling off the top in the most legendary places in new york pyramids um philly this that I didn't even know around you did the way battle rap mm-hmm. yeah all off the top i never you wrote still one battle rap I mean, you no, would. I mean, fucking around. I wouldn't okay, like. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? They gotta pay out a bag. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's the yeah. baggy bag gotta be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta be ready, right? But you know, people like they knew how nice I was, but they. It's crazy because I still say it really is like a, a male dominated world because it's like it's a new white boy rapper every month. They like cockroaches. They always mm. and it's and not. No shade, because a lot of them are mm. nice. Yeah, mm. but I swear you like I can. I take can't. Them off. I could. I could rap with my head turned around my head, stand on my head, and have the words coming out of my pussy. Y'all, if y'all and people are not her gonna sway, her sweat that shit. Yeah. And B, let me tell you Sickening. something. If what any other female, if blowing. any other female did what I did on Sway, it would have been fucking everywhere. And even Sway told Mind me this, blowing. this is why Sway is one of the realest people in the industry. Mind he blowing. told me and my man, he's like, you know why people don't give it up for you all the way, right? So I've always had that. And which is the, re- what? do you want to verbalize that reason? Well, I already said it, what I look like. Got you. Yeah, people are not going to be like, oh, this white girl's so crazy. Got you. This, yeah. I'm one of like five people to ever spit a real freestyle on Spray. Oh, yeah, because on my Sway, mm-hmm. my, my freestyle, it was written. But you, you still would, killed it. Mm-hmm. But but guys don't even want to come off the but top. But a written is nothing compared to what you did off the top. Thank yeah. you. Period. And what's yeah. so crazy is... I would have been up there, bippity boppity boop. <laughs> <laughs> what's so crazy is, and B, you'll know it, and V, because y'all do music, and yeah. Brie, probably, you'll know it too, just because you have a good ear, but when I went up on Sway... Jesus, I already know what you're going to say. I, I spit a written About to, beats. to let them know it was, you know, and then we went to commercial on Sway. I was like, all right, you ready for the five fingers of death? And he was like, oh, we don't really have time for that. I'm going to interview a little bit. I said, Sway. I said, I came here to do the five fingers of death, I'm freestyling. I said, you never had a female do what I'm about to do. So I'm talking my shit because I want to let him let me do it. So Sway's like, all right. So DJ Wonder, the DJ sitting right there and he's listening. So when DJ Wonder starts the five fingers of death, which is when they give you five random beats, they beat juggle. He gives me not only the most <laughs> trash, trash beat, beats. and everyone in the comments says it, trash beats you could think of, he changes the tempo, which means he's quickening the BPM mm-hmm. and slowing and it then down. slowing it down to a stop. Now, he tried to fuck me up so bad, and I stayed on beat that entire time. Entire what he time. tried to do, like, embarrass me and fuck me up. I'm not saying embarrass me, because I, I fuck with Wonder now, but he really tried to fuck me up. Mm. I didn't come off that beat not, not one motherfucking mm. time. And every one of the comments is like, yo, this is he's unbelievable. changing the tempo yeah. of the beat. And I asked Sway... I said, because on all the five fingers of death, like shout out to my boy King Lowe's, yeah. he's crazy. Um, another dude from LA did it. There's a few people that have yeah. freestyle. Amazing beats, straight boom bap, hip hop beats, and no no tempo change. I said, Sway, why why did you guys change the tempo on me? He goes, because one that said you were talking so much shit, he really wanted to throw it at you, see what you were made of. He goes, we haven't changed tempos on anyone in five years because no one Jesus. can catch the beat. Mm. So Ooh. that's but that's just a small increment of like what you deal I feel with like in the of industry. what I deal with 
for real. So I say that to say, if I didn't get on Wild and Out and get this platform, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would have really let me live like with my music, let me, wow. you know, get through with it. So when I tell you I am thankful and, and I am blessed, now, mm -hmm. look where you the at. old she female at. podcast, yeah. Wild and Out, yes. and that's why I work so hard because I can never forget like where I was before this and how hard I was working and like, like I'm not going back only yeah and this one night yeah. I prayed to God and it was just such a dark night I was at one of my um I stayed with one of my dudes at the time and we was like on the floor and on the mattress and I was just I can't stand this motherfucker I'm looking over him and I was like God <laughs> I'm like please if you like, get me out of please. I was just like please like let something break in my life like please mm, please come like, on. I know how good I am just please wow. and then like very shortly thereafter is when mm. Tony Skits I always have to shout out my brother Love Tony put me on and connect me with Nile and then mm. my life changed so I just like I can't not work hard. Yeah. I just, yeah. I can't. Yeah. It's yeah. not in me to not. Yeah. So that's but, why I am. That's a good thing. I mean, we were really about to get into these questions, but you didn't answer everything. Yeah, oh, basically. You didn't say with the girl. Shatterbox. Yeah. Shatterbox. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You make our job easy. I'm like, yeah. just listen. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. I have a background in radio. I also yeah. did radio. Yeah. Pretty big. Uh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. We yeah, both no, did. I know yeah. 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 I did three stations in um Jersey. My co-host, M. Easy, is now Power 105.1, the oh, biggest lit, station in the country. Lit. Shout out to M. Easy. It was me, M. Easy, and Jay. And actually, Sus One was putting something together I with me, Sus One. M. Easy, and Sus. Like, yeah. we shot like a little pilot or whatever, but, um, you know, he didn't end up doing the show. But, so I love it. I really love the interview. I want to do an interview. I want to do one podcast where I can interview you two. Oh, yeah. my Because gosh. I want to know the story how you guys got on Wild Out, unless <laughs> yeah. you did that to yeah. each other. But no, we, have yeah, we haven't yeah. done that yet. I love yeah. to interview, and I have a background in that. Like, I love being a VJ. And, yeah. 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 But my last just, question. Oh, go ahead. No, so go ahead. This is I, what I, I just guess. randomly want to know yeah. now. Yeah. Um, other than music and, ooh, these gnats. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Cortez? Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Wild style. Right. laughs> wow. Um, what else would you like entrepreneur wise yes. or I know acting, you said acting, TV, mm -hmm. you didn't just say, okay, I'm only gonna rap, I'm only gonna do music, yeah. only gonna put out albums. What else would you want to get your hands in now? Like if you could do anything tomorrow, would you like open up a brick and mortar, open up a juice bar? Da -da -da -da. Like what is one thing that you'd be like, I really wanna do this, like another passion or another purpose that yeah. you could do outside of just entertainment? Um, I def. Oh, well, outside of entertainment, well, inside More of entertainment, wise. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, whatever, inside whatever. of entertainment, I definitely want to get on a series. I feel like I make a great character, female Tommy, mm -hmm. and all that for like a type of power <laughs> yeah, show. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, movies, lit, lit, all lit. that. I definitely want to do that. Um, outside of the entertainment, I really want to open up a dog rescue. You know how much oh, I love, love dogs. You do. I, yo, I, yo this I, girl. Let me tell you, our last season when we was out in Atlanta. We passed a, a puppy on the side oh, of the road. Man. It was it was passed away. The dog was dead. We passed it maybe two, three days. The third day, Justina said, this no, the is... First the, oh, the, the first and day I called. the first day? And I was on the phone with them the entire day. They were like, you have to go. We're she walking. She was like, this is unacceptable. I was calling. I was call, I'm, I'm just calling like... The there should be no dog on the side of the road. I was like, I wanted to make mm. sure if he was... A, I asked our driver. I said, can we circle can back? Can you go, take me I back? I said, please, can we circle yeah. back? I wanted to see if he was alive. She loves animals. He probably yeah. wasn't, but I couldn't, in my heart, not check. Mm. But, um, yeah, I want to open up, like, you know, definitely a dog rescue. Um, following so many dog rescues, sometimes, like, when I'm going to film, I have to scroll past because it'll just... Yeah. so sad, yeah. 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 I donate to so many dog rescues. I'm like, I need to open my own. That's what I was like, mm -hmm. you be so, so proud cute. of me because I got a puppy. Yes, and he's so cute. I'm so scared have to have a little yeah. date. Yeah. They have to do yeah. a little date. Mine is <laughs> yeah. so big. She's like, how's so your video. son? I'm like, he's good. Yeah, yeah. he's well, so cute. Well, yeah. let's ask that question for everybody. Bree, what would you do? besides the real estate it's so funny you said that because i wanted to do the same thing i wanted to do a dog you rescue I, i've been looking in texas at ranches what? texas That's, yep. is, i have to tell you it's crazy texas is arguably the most yep. horrendous state for it dog abuse it <laughs> is there's some other that mm -hmm. you know compare with it but yep. texas is terrible it's terrible you, should. you need to do it in texas. i wanted to i don't know what it is i'll, I'll go uh, in with you let's talk yes, about it girl, honestly, i would love to I, I was doing my... horses i was doing dogs i was doing all kinds i mean do you know tarzan on on instagram yeah, yeah, Have you yeah, ever yeah. Seen yeah. That? Yes, he takes yes. on all these animals right obviously like 
I don't know everything about snakes and whatever, right. but I was so inspired by like what he was doing and he bought mm. all these acres and mm. he built these like crazy aquariums mm. and all this like so dope, dope stuff. And so I was like, I love this. Like you could get like five to 10 acres in, in Texas for nothing look and it, save so many it, animals. Yeah. We, we should connect I would on that love because that. that's been on my dream board. So I definitely I would love that. Do that. That's yeah. so dope. What about you, yeah. yeah. What, what about would you? I do? Um, what would I do? What would I do? What would I do? I want to do more like um, a sleep bar <laughs> where people can come and relax. I need that. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about that because I'm like, there should be places and restaurants where you could sleep after you eat. Oh, that'd be so great. <laughs> that'd be I mean, so I nice. Go to bed after That's hilarious. <laughs> no, La but um, something health wise. Like, I'm into my fitness stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've always been into like herbs and natural yeah. healing. I started mm-hmm. following Dr. Sabi like years and years ago. So, like, a juice bar or something where. People of color, I feel like the minority is a Popeyes on every corner. It's yeah, an alcohol. McDonald's. We know that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you grow up just eating horrible because that's just how you raise. And, mm-hmm. you know, so giving people of color more, because you're like, that's so nasty. Taste it. Girl, Jess is mm-hmm. in my room eating vegan all week. And especially mm-hmm. with It's not fitness. nasty. It's just you don't know. You right. know? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. just some like healthy think, juice bar or something. I think for me, I two things that I probably, that I will eventually one of these days but i want to do a dance studio oh i let's definitely want to just i want to have my own dance studio Teach i just think kids. for the kids oh, you know, gosh, just having just because but then i also want to do like a council like a center for kids just like Cute. people counseling kids mm-hmm. abandoned homes i worked for the city of raleigh when i was in college and we mm. used to like help kids out that had you know low income homes and yeah, they, yeah, they would come yeah, to our yeah. center That's and dope. we'll teach them things i was always yeah. playing with them kids like just dancing and all that but just having an area where they could come after school and just get really Learn. like get help you mm. know from people that want to do it because you go home mother on drugs yeah grandma can't barely walk you know so mm-hmm. they come to mm-hmm. us for that love and support so i want to open up one of those facilities for kids and you be so love good it. yeah i want to do that it's just so yeah, yeah. i, I want to do that for kids just to see i, I always been the type of person to see what everybody think about what's in your mind like right. i've always been that girl like you should be a therapist yeah but yeah. always like, what is in your mind because i sometimes i'd be thinking like are we thinking the same thing or you feel like dad you've been through that too like i just want to know what is yeah. in that mind and i know everybody thinks differently and everybody has their yeah. own thing but i've always been a little girl so concerned mm. about like why are we here why is this this why is this hmm. this what's that oh my god why are we doing this yeah does this makes sense does this make sense why are we i know this was good I always wanted to know, be so curious. My mom would say, you asking so many questions because I was the same way as a little girl. Uh-huh. So, but then when your mind gets open to that, then you'll believe anything. So mm-hmm. I just try to just like not do too much, but if I'm so curious to know like a lot of things, especially the mind. Mm-hmm. So imagine V like, uh, as a therapist, she lay down, she'll be like, literally. <laughs> literally, <laughs> supposedly. Girl, you gonna be good. Yeah, suppose mm-hmm. I'd be the one that's, I'd want to talk to them teens, like just unmasking themselves, you know, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, I'm You'll be do. great at that. Mm, no, I do that. Well, we do, before you go, we do a toast, um, a Thank closing you. toast. Yeah. So yeah. we would mm-hmm. like for you to leave us with a quote, You're something right. motivational, oh, just like a, a word. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to give you a word from my favorite rap song of all time, and it's called Unconditional Love by Tupac. It said, in this game, the lessons in your eyes to see, though things change, the future's still inside of me. We must remember that tomorrow comes after the dark, and you will always be in my heart with unconditional love. I love y'all three oh. beautiful, oh. strong ladies. Yeah. You are killing this podcast, <laughs> and I'm so <laughs> proud of y'all. Oh, B, don't yes. cry, because I know you're yeah, tired. Yeah, she was right like, there. What? She goes. And Justina, we I love you no, so much. No, I love much. y'all down. I'm so proud of you both, really quick, because y'all was talking about me, those. <laughs> I'm so proud of you hosting this podcast. I don't Me know if too. it's stepping out of your comfort zone, yeah. but you're doing oh, great. That's what we're doing. Vina, I am so <laughs> proud of you for your spirit, the energy you bring, killing it this season, yeah. and all your ventures outside yeah. of this. B, I'm this so proud of you, sis. From the makeup you know. to the health to the wealth to the dog, you know what I mean? To the new <laughs> man, you manifested it all. You're killing it, killing it this season. Mm-hmm. I love y'all down, and y'all my sisters for life. Love you. I love, I love you guys. y'all. The ladies are wilding out. Yeah. Yes. She okay, guys, I'm, I'm keeping a tally. V, Zoom in on v this is two. <laughs> two nights. Oh, oh in a row, Tito. Yeah. Oh, y'all look so beautiful when I you love cry. It. This is the passion <laughs> that this girl be having. I don't care if it's an interview, mm. on stage. Mm-hmm. It's everything. Like, it's just, you know, even, thank you for helping me, even when I feel like 
I was gonna get sent home plenty of times, mm-hmm. like just trying to figure it Bugging out. Bugging her about Bugging some raps. Some raps, like just thank I you. I always like, believed in you. You Aww. always had it in you. Yeah. You just had to let it out. Aww. Aww. You always did. I was so proud of you. Take Mama Yana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Justina. I love you. I love you, B. I love you, B. Rap you, something else motivational. <laughs> rap something else. Only V gives me a little beatbox. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, it's called women a while now or ladies a while now. Women, women, women a while now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. Shout mm-hmm. out to Pretty V and B Simone mm-hmm. and Bree T, J U S T. Yo, yo. Uh, <laughs> I'm like. Women, we run it. Women, we gun it. You know we always keep it real, so we keep it a hundred. We need motivation for when they hating. You are all my ways front line. I can never be waiting. Yeah. It's incredible with mm. B. Simone. I know the whole world love her tone. She got the throne and oh. pretty V. Um, Yeah, she got the spirit. You can't deny it any time you get near it. Ooh. And Bree mm. look good. She getting cheddar. We about to do things for the dogs to make mm. it better. Yeah. Because yes. when I do it, yeah, I do it one time. It's the women. The wild and out, your girl Justina Valentine. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. I tried to hit it with a Dougie friend. Yeah. Oh. You was both. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mic was me. Oh. Uh, you do a good beatbox. Oh, You're so, so amazing. So, so good. Amazing. Wow. I love, I love y'all. You now, when you're ready to interview them, I got you. <laughs> we gonna flip the roles. We gonna flip the roles. Yeah, I, I love interviewing. Yeah, I loved you. And I know y'all. Thank you so much for coming. So much for having me. This was fun. You and Maddie, Nick. I mean, every, everybody's mm-hmm. been on this. Been great. Been so Even getting to know you, Bree. This has been yes. beautiful. Yes. Be smooth. Like I will be sleep in three minutes and twenty nine seconds. Literally, right here. Literally. We gonna say bye to Jess. Today is her last day. But we love you. I love you. Out of here. Thank you for having me. I love you. Wait. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. Yes. And yes. we spoke when I was in D.C. as well, like in these yes. movies and these TV shows. I mean, your work does not go unnoticed. Yeah, your work ethic is crazy. It's mm-hmm. crazy. So it's crazy. Yeah. insane. I mean, like B said, you're so passionate. When we're playing, you're behind the scenes. She don't just be playing. Rapping, <laughs> just trying to make sure. I'm like, do you have anything? She's like, give me a minute. I'm working on my shit. I don't care how good I am. you always put yeah. this forward, too. You never try to, like, you know, this is my shit. Like, V, you tell me today, like, yo, V, let's write something, you know? And you Aww, know my ass man. always forget yeah. a line or two. Yeah, because like, we're going to run up on clips and cons. <laughs> and if you want to jump in, we can jump Hitman, yeah, too. We got to get Hitman, yeah. three on three. Sick man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to make him sick, man. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we going to make him dick, man. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> we ain't looking at your dick, man. Mm, with this my clip, man. Oh. You always want the pussy, you a trick, man. Oh, a trick, man, a sick man. <laughs> you, you, you a Knicks fan. Mm, Knicks fan, want to get man. He said that you was Knicks, man. That's what I fucked you up. No, we going to go. Yes. We gotta go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're mm-hmm. gonna do that before oh. this season is yes. over. So we thank to. you. We love you. Thank we you appreciate you. I love you, you guys too. Thank mm-hmm. you guys so much. See you guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.